of viewers. I just thought I'd do a video showing uh, the difference in voltages with arcs. Um, just the power line setup that I've built. I've been doing various experiments on it since there's nothing else to do during this coronavirus epidemic. So I've got the 4160 and 132 transformer there. So each one of these lines, so this is unplugged, this is 7,620 volts and that is 2,400 volts. And I've scabbed it together uh, with a bunch of pieces of wire. Comes down here. And I've got a microwave oven transformer. A little bit over volted, but it doesn't really matter. Going to an electric meter there. And then the 2400 ends there. And then the 13.2 would continue up here. And I've got. Uh, 0.5 kVA transformer here, 13200 ground Y, 7620. Got it coming down here just to a meter stand. System is live. Just do a few arcs first on a 7620. Actually, the wind's blowing it this way, I can feel the heat coming off of it. Now for some 2400. Knowing my luck, the uh, wind would blow the uh, high voltage into the lower 2400. And these are at the same power level. As you can see, the 2400 doesn't always strike an arc. But when it does, it is very hot and bright. It actually hurts to look at it. That's probably going to melt that coupling right there. Was a circuit breaker. So as you can see, the 2400 volt arcs were very um, fat and uh, bright. Um, at the same power level, the 132 or 7620 really stretched out far, but um, weren't that bright. You could look at them with your bare eye. I was actually looking at these through the lens of the camera, so I didn't get arc eye that bad. And this is how they're wired up. Yeah. Just an extension cord, no ballasts to this 240 volt step up transformer. And then each one of these. So this is H or L1, L2, and L3. L1, L2, and L3. So I've tied them respectively together so that this. They are peaking at the same time instead of reverse times. So they are in phase. Well, I take That's this all battle. down for the day. I thought I'd do one more experiment. And that is a high voltage to low voltage fault. So here we have a lower voltage 2400 volt line. And there is nothing except this microwave oven transformer connected to it. As you can see it's grounded here. And the high voltage goes in the bushing. And down at the end, the 2400 volt transformer there is disconnected and the wire is just hanging freely. And I've strung a twig between the high voltage 7620 and the 2400. I'm going to power it on. It will be a pretty cool fault. As you can see, disconnected. I have to plug it in quickly and then. Already smoking.
that was unexpected for it to fall on the ground. But as you see in there, the arc intensified once it hit the ground, meaning there was more current flowing. And this is all still live, so it should be careful. So the 2400 volt line, which is dead now, from the 13.2 system, it was creeping across the twig and going through the transformer. So just a crappy microwave oven transformer, so I'm not too concerned about it. But there's a pretty cool fault there.